what you are about to see is a discussion video based on the information and knowledge of the current reaction done by Architect Cobra. Theories and ideas said in this video may be 100% wrong and may be guesses. For those of you who are lore launches and wish to ruin the show for Architect Cobra for giving him information that you would only get from future episodes that he has not gotten to yet, then I suggest you turn this video off now. This is not the video for you. Welcome back everybody to episode 9 of Fairytale Discussions. Joining me today, we have Justin, Natsu, and Tommy. Hello everybody. Hello. Hey. So, uh, we're going to be talking about episode 179 through 184. Since we didn't do it uh, last Friday, um, we combined the episodes um, because episode 179 through 181, the last group of episodes, the Friday's episode, uh, not a lot happened, but at the same time, you know, stuff happened, so <laughs> we just combined the episodes. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, so, uh, episode 179, uh, we had the really epic uh, Grey versus Rufus fight. Um, it was really, really cool to see that. Um, it, it's like, uh, Rufus's magic is weird, because... Or, his, like, I guess... I guess it's his, like, main magic, but, like, he... Every time Grey uses, uses an ability... Rufus like takes it away immediately, and like it's OP, uh, pretty OP. Yeah, it's uh so his memory make magic basically he memorizes what uh, Gray did and then he just does the same magic. Yeah. he pretty much copies other people's magic. Well, yeah, yeah all the all the books also, and stuff too that he reads. Yeah. yeah, but he also at the same time the part that doesn't make, in my opinion copying magic doesn't necessarily make you OP. It's the fact that he was able to make Gray forget it and only allow him to basically use it on him once at least during that fight. Like, he used his magic and said forget, and then Grey couldn't use it again. He even said he could only use it once. Yeah. Top, one, each yeah. spell one time during the fight. Um, but it was. I'm glad Grey finally decided, you know, to put up the ice wall in front of the books. Well, before he, before he got blasted, too, because Rufus kept learning even more and more spells from each book just in a second. He read, like, three books in, like, less than two seconds. And like combining all the all the abilities that he's got kind of like memorized. Unlimited combo. Yeah. That, that would be that moment would be okay to say infinite combo. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much was. <laughs> um. Yeah. Then we get like a cool kind of flashback with um, with Mavis t talking to uh, Fairy Tale Team B, um, about her. Or no, that wasn't Team B. That was that was just like before the fight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just fairy tale. Yeah, uh, so Gray like really badly wanted to join in and everything, and Mavis had her doubts, um, but you know, never underestimate emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Ice of emotion. Ice of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the whole fight, Mavis was always like, you know, really worried about Gray losing, um, but at the same time, you know. Emotion always trumps, you know, anything. Oh, I can't remember how she how she put it again. Um, she says, "Oh, I can't remember." Go ahead. Well, she said, uh, so "Sometimes um, emotion can like um, over." Uh, what was I, I remember the last part in the beginning. It's, it's the part where she's the word it's, between. It's it's overcome like barriers and stuff. Not barriers, but like walls. Strategy and and some statistics can never um, account for emotion. Something like that. Like emotion yeah. can overcome you in the strongest or, or the she, largest and most horrible statistics. Or something. She's pretty much um, saying you become unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In a sense, you can't really you can't really calculate emotions. In a sense, really. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was a kind of kind of a cool moment for Mavis. Didn't like, Mavis also say something that, like, Rufus needed to be taken out first because he's, like, the yeah, key he's, he to, like... Yeah. Yeah, he knows where everyone yeah. else... He knows where all the members are on the... He... Because he, he's... I don't know how he would... And they don't really go into detail on how he would know that. They just say he knows where everyone is. They don't really go into detail on how he would know that, but... Because yeah. he can't even say it's his memory magic because, in a sense, he remembers what he sees, but did he actually see where each of them were? So, well, he has uh, that... He has that night of that shooting, shooting stars. stars. Yeah. 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 His his night of shooting stars could probably track them. Well, so what, he what, knows where they what are I'm now. thinking, what it is, it's like he can remember the surroundings, and so if if nothing is moving, like buildings, he'll he he knows by his memory that the building's there. So that's not like 
you know, the enemy. So he goes like like a good, good example is the first um, event, the hidden event. All the different copies of people, he those they didn't move. So he knew exactly which ones were not moving, and he knew the moment all of the actual contestant contestants were moving sure. because, because he he knew all the clones were not so, like clones. So, so yeah. So basically, I mean, from from, from the. Uh, from the way we're from the way we're uh, looking at it, we're really underestimating his power, of, like his memory, because yeah. he can memorize like the entire town and stuff, and be like, "Yeah, oh, this one clone has not moved a single time, and I know it should be there." Yeah, and boom. So yeah. He's, yeah, like, he's on top true. of the building, like with a high view of the whole whole stadium. It's, so he he got a good view of everything. It's probably fair to say that Rufus is probably Sabretooth's kind of, like, their most calculating member, in a sense. Definitely, Just yeah. based off his, <laughs> like, I'm sure he got the memory make magic to fit for his intelligence as a whole, probably, most likely. Yeah. But, yeah, so, I can see why they'd want to take out the brains of the team before <laughs> everything else. Yeah, so that was, that was a really epic fight. Um, uh... And uh, just like all, all like I- I even Gray's like final attack thing that he does, like <laughs> that was that really was cool. so legit. That it was, was like, it was like just... summoning like a vortex of ice, and then all of a sudden swords. through the ice, all the swords pop out and like start like making other things and like everything. So uh, yeah, that was a really cool moment. I, I could I, I could make a joke. I I could make a joke and reference the fact of uh, that reminded. I can't remember what it was. I'll, t- I'll talk about it after, later. I want to remember. <laughs> <Okay>. Unlimited <laughs> Blade Works. Um, so <laughs> then okay. we got uh, a scene with uh, Team Natsu getting stuck in the underground maze. Um, and Happy comes up with the plan to use Lucy and Mira to lure guards down to the cave with... Uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, fan yeah, <laughs> with fan service. <laughs> fan service. It had Mira, so I was okay. <laughs> it was so, a pretty stupid idea. Thing. Yeah, um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> me too. Me too. Um, the the moment where like they find the magazines and like showing, showing the magazines and everything, and then seeing uh, you can know like all like all like flushed and everything, like going, <gasps> how could you? And kind of stuff like that. Or she didn't say how could you, but so that awkward reading though from the magazine. <laughs> what about Panther Lily? What about Panther Lily reading the note uh, from the guy that died down there? <laughs> Yeah, I've been yeah, down here for years, <laughs> and all I have is Mary Jane's picture to keep me coming. But when she looks at me, she is so freaking hot. And I'm like, <laughs> poor Panther, like he died inside reading it. It was so weird. Um, but yeah, that's like this. Is, that's all that happened in the episode was just that, like with Nazi's team. Um, and then the next episode is all about the Nazi's team uh, with the Hunker Wolf Knights com- coming up, and we see Barbara and everything as Cosmos. Um, and the creepy fish guy, um, <laughs> like the, the, the slow zoom in to sort of that to his face is hilarious. Um, like whenever he wants, like like and like emphasis on like a certain word, it like it zooms into his face and like it like he like starts saying something creepy or whatever. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so like all the all the wolf knights are um, like I had a I had a, had the gripe with um, them being so powerful and everything. Um, I mean, they are still, but, like, it, it, it's kind of going, going along with the, the whole trope with, um, uh, like, the Arashi and the Sace, right? Like, all of them combined took out Fairy Tail very easily, but separated, they, like, are easily defe- defeatable. Um, yeah. so that, that's, like, the same kind of concept Cause here they, with the Wolf Knights. Cause, yeah, because they work as a team, pretty much. Yeah, and they're known as, like, the team of executors. Like, I, they had never said that they were able to execute people on their own. <laughs> they yeah. said they exec- they're, they're like a team of knights that, that execute criminals. And by the way, just to throw in there, and I said this before the discussion, they literally used Mavis and Makarov to fix your whole, not really fix it, but more like just to, like, not make it so your gripe isn't as big. Um, by saying that they're not exactly pushovers without actually saying they are they are push it's really weird and they beat well, them three the, seconds later though so the, it was like, the members of fairy tale who were standing around them um they talked about uh them like like they're like oh yeah i remember them kind of stuff like that like the the people who who weren't stuck into the fairy sphere um the members who who were who were like who's who's been alive and like walking around and doing stuff for the seven years 
um, they like mm-hmm. recognize the group and they know the group. So um, they have been around the Wolf Knights. So they're not just like and like no one knows who they are. They're just a secret organization kind of thing. So people know who they are yeah. or like hints at all or like you know stories. Yeah. How how did it's, you feel about them in general? Like like did you um, like them or? I I love Cosmos because Barbara voices her. Um, yeah. Uh, and her Life magic, her magic, her magic is is pretty pretty interesting. Um, like plant control, kind of magic. Poison ivy. Poison ivy, pretty much. Yeah. Um, exactly. Um, and then her obsession with Wendy was a whole nother story. Yeah. Though. <laughs> yeah. That we'll, was, we'll, um... get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Bad touch. Um, Bad touch. <laughs> the uh, fish guy was was pretty interesting. He's got like that kind of like um, southern kind of theme to him. Um, with all of his like. Um, like, cause like all the, all these characters, the whole show, they always have like different characteristics and like different themes about them. Like, for example, Torres, like whenever he talks, he talks about like, you know, moving over kind of stuff like that, that kind of thing. Yeah, and so the yeah. fish, the, the fish guy, he does the same thing, but with, with like a Southern accent and like, you know, fish tropes and, well not tropes, but fish things and, um, that kind of thing. Like, so it was, it was pretty interesting to see him throughout the show so far. Um, about what he can do and everything. Like he can, like he can change, um, change the playing field oh. at will. Pretty yeah, much. like terrain. Yeah, terrain. Tra- yeah, there we go. Something. Yeah, yeah, train, train modification. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty interesting to see that guy. And then um, let's see, there was the acid guy that Lily fought. Uh, yeah. And that fight was pretty. They never touched on it too much, um, but at the same time, they sort of did. It, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, Lily, they, they only cut back to Lily and the uh, the acid guy a couple times, um, just like one or two times, um, and then we had like a flashback with Lily, which which we'll get to. Um, but yeah, it seemed pretty like it, the acid guy wasn't a big threat like in the show terms. Yeah. Like he he just had acid. That's all he did. <laughs> so you know, yeah. <laughs> um, so we got the acid guy, Cosmos, uh, the fish guy, Sight oh, yeah. guy. Scythe guy, um, so his his, yeah, mag- right. his his magic is is I don't think he had magic, but he used magical weapons. Is that a, um, a correct yeah, assumption? One, no, that's not true. He, his... he did he did the uh, marker magic or whatever. He he marked Natsu. Yeah, and basically, whatever when he threw those things, they were tracking the marks at the specific locations where the mark glue. Yeah. Um, gl- Glue. No, glowed. that's not glue. Glowed. <laughs> glue. Glued. <laughs> glued. I'm so <laughs> losing my mind right now. I'm so brain dead right now. Um, I, I'm never gonna let that. I'm never gonna let that one down. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love how each one of his scythes though did. One is for um, I love, but one of them's just a pretty much. All he does is confirm that one of them's just a regular scythe. Yeah. One of them's for reaping my foe's heads. Okay, so even with other bladed <laughs> weapon. The other one's for reaping magic. Okay, that one made sense. But the other one's like, why do you even have that? You might as well use anything else. It was really interesting um, with, with him fighting Natsu as well, because every time the the Reaper... I don't, what are we calling him again? Scythe. There we go. That's what they called him. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, so whenever whenever Scythe uh, attacked with one of his blades, Natsu had like... Like uh, kind of like a Spidey sense moment where like he, something's wrong and he like he dodged out of the way like instantly. Um, that happened a couple times in the fight, and I was I was very interested yeah. about that like you know how he knew Whoa. something was happening kind of to thing. To be to be fair, maybe he smelt the metal of the scythe or something. Dragon Slayer's <laughs> noses are pretty powerful. <laughs> no, uh, well, uh, Natsu does have um, his heightened senses are sight, smell, and hearing, That's and true. probably like. Sensing stuff too. Yeah, I mean, so he probably heard it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. yeah it was, it was, he's a, he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Um. But the thing is, um, I love how all these people have powers, but all their powers have one major defect or a major flaw. Like the scythe guy, it's the fact that not to just beat you up with his fist. Then never mind. He won't use magic. So yeah, that was magic. Yeah. like he can cut magic. Great. Nazi's been known to punch people one hit, kill them in the face with a regular punch. I mean, I'm not really surprised. Yeah. Um, and then, then for the plants, I mean, you got a lot of wind coming in there. I mean, let's be fair. Um, <laughs> the one that really, in a sense, made the least sense to me. I, I guess I can see it because he's a he's with fairy tales. So, 
um, is Panther Lily with his um, his sword cutting acid. Um, that must be one powerfully magically enhanced <laughs> defensive sword. If you're well, cutting, yeah, acid. He, he he was like splitting it or something like that. Or yeah, it, it, that was kind of like a weird thing. They but... should have they should have they should have made it more animated where he look it looked like the wind split the acid. I could I could see that. But they made it seem like you just literally cut it off, split it with a sword, and that would literally <laughs> still melt with sword some. That yeah. would still melt with sword some. Um, and then the final <laughs> member is the uh, the confetti girl, the confetti wizard, um, who got wrecked yeah. by Mayor Asher. We'll, get to, you know we'll what? get to that. <laughs> um, that's, that's like the next next uh, big fight, or it's up near the end of the thing. Anyways, um, but yeah, her 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 magic is is interesting. She has all these different types of confetti uh, paper that she like flings around and everything, and who knows where she gets them? <laughs> like, <laughs> like she just summons them into existence, pretty much. Like, yeah. Anytime she uses them, uh, she had one of like every element in the world. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Plus, like ones that did other things. Like, we'll get yeah, to it, but like she could show Mira. Um, like her thoughts, like you know, trap her. And, yeah, like, like... Thoughts and stuff like, that. like weird stuff like that. Yeah, there's a lot of like. Yeah. Lot well, of, I mean, to be paper. fair, she probably would have had more luck with that. Um, trapping them in their thoughts if she wouldn't have gotten over that problem like three arcs ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. to be fair, that problem was already in a sense solved. <laughs> and I guess it might still bother her, but not enough that, to apparently trap her forever. That like also she was would have been a really great moment for Mira to almost be like what Elfman had to go through when he was trapped in the um, in the uh, Earth. You know, when he was, like, getting consumed by the Earth with that one guy. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Getting, and then getting over it and, like, bursting out, you know, kind of thing like that. Like, But Mira, like like I said, or like we said, uh, Mira already got over that. Um, so she... She just instantly kind of just bursts out of it, like, instantly. So it's, it's pretty funny to see the other trick's face when that happened. But she doesn't just burst out of it. She also feeds us this e- epic speech about friendship and how I protect my friends. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 like, she does it in style. Like, one hit punch to break out of the thing, then she does the <laughs> slow walk up to the confetti chick who's really scared out of her mind now. Yeah. And yeah, also she does, like, paralyzing paper as well. The, the confetti girl. Um, Which are denied. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's like poison, uh, poison paper, lightning, fire, ice, um, the mind paper. Um, there was something. There was another paper too. She oh, a light, demon! A light there, was a, there was a demon paper, light paper. Yeah. Um, um, by the, speaking of which, about the lightning paper, does anyone find it pretty intriguing? I, I just love that because it was kind of like, if you think about it, it's kind of like Grey and Natsu have how they mention each other, but when she got hit by the lightning, she's like, this is nothing as powerful as Locke's lightning. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, when did you start caring about mentioning anything about other people's powers? <laughs> yeah, I bet you I bet you she has like a fan service paper too. Like, that would be pretty funny. Oh gosh. <laughs> don't don't yeah, think it's possible. Man. <laughs> no. Anything is possible. All right, so uh, yeah, the, then the final bit of uh, 181 was uh, Wendy getting almost defeated by Sweets again. Um, the <laughs> like getting uh, or the fight with with uh, Wendy and Barbara, uh, Barbara, pretty much. Yeah, Cosmos. Um, Cosmos like summoning a bunch of plants that have um, sour fruit, you know that kind of thing. Uh, Wendy's oh, it's like, the, the plums. The plums. I think. Plums. Uh, so yeah, Wendy's like, you know, like, against that, like, hardcore, like, doesn't want to, anything to do with sweets at all. Um, or like sour things. Um, so she gets like, I'll take it back for it. Which is very reminiscent from the Tenro Island arc when, um, yeah. Loki and Grey do, do it to her, um, to defeat her. Which, it, it's a weird, like, character trait that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, still, now that we're on the bar, the, the the Cosmos and Wendy fight, we should really talk to Barbara about her obsession with Wendy. Yeah, it's you pretty crazy. Hey, okay, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop that. <laughs> yeah, the fight was you know what? really Cosmos crazy. Cosmos can have her. Cosmos can have her. It is fine. Wendy did a really good job, like kind of holding off her, like all of her plants and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that that when she put her to sleep. And, like, she was, like, underneath the mountain of plums or, you know, whatever, and she was, like, sleeping. 
Cosmos did a lot of really creepy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like finger to the mouth, like r- like rimming the her lips and everything like that, like yeah. singing her to sleep. So I was, I was telling I was telling you guys that I that I totally forgot that scene ever <laughs> happened. So like when I first saw it, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff you just want to forget at some time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really creepy. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, uh, we get to see, um, yeah, we're moving on to 182 now. Um, so, the Colonel guy, um, or I guess what I guess as I say, the fight with um, the fish guy um, with the terrain magic he changes the arena to lava, um, and then the uh, Lucy and um, Yukino, Yukino um, are about to go fall in the lava. What is that? <laughs> Who's doing that sound? Yeah. Not you. Oh, that's a pen. That's why. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> uh, um, I think it's because it's on the table with my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, um, so the the girls are, like, flying into the lava. The colonel jumps into the lava and, like, pushes them up, you know, helps them up, whatever. And it's a very, like, touching moment of, like, him about to die, pretty much. Um, but then Hor- Horologium comes in and saves him, um, and Leo, uh, jumping in, uh, with the keys, uh, for the girls and everything to fight the fish guy. Um, it was pretty, it's pretty interesting to see, um, the different combinations of, uh, well, I mean, they had all 12 Zodiac, except the 13th key. That's the one thing that I'm kind of, like, a s- the, s- the smallest of gripes. Where is that thirteenth key, and why doesn't she have it again? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can know thirteenth uh, gate uh, key or something like that. I don't know. She does say it's it's rarely opened when she used it before. So I don't know. <laughs> it's might it might be somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah. So it was maybe, it was, maybe someone stole it. Someone stole it. From <laughs> Maybe. Maybe the colonel has it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny to see all the all the spirits fight the fish guy and everything. and um, Like, Taurus getting wrecked on ice, so it was really funny. Um, uh, who, who else? Oh, uh, they never they never brought out um, Ares. Ares never helped in the fight at all. Um, it was just like... She's more like a defense. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was, it was interesting to see... The ones that she did summon and did not summon. Because um, she didn't summon... Like, I, I, I would have liked to actually see, like, the harp uh, silver key come out and, like, play the guy some something to make him feel a certain way or something. I don't know. Hey, we still had Plu the silver key. Plu, we still yeah. had Plu come out and... And then he was used he stuff. was used against Lucy by, like, becoming a spear, pretty much, um, at the end of his, his little <laughs> thing there. Um, but yeah, all, all the spirits had like a, like a shining moment where they kind of helped out in the fight. Um, it was pretty cool. What, what about, what about, um, Pisces, um, transformation from being regular, yeah. um, eels to two people, a mother and a son, apparently, yeah. which I forgot about also. That, that was pretty cool. Um, they, they seemed, well, they were... <laughs> their weaknesses to water, which is interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the, so the moment they get into water, they turn back into the fish, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, that, fish that was probably one of my favorite moments about your reaction when they said, "How did you know? What? What? what how did you know that Pisces had a weakness to water?" Then Cobra's face just goes like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> it it, it reminds me so much. It reminds me so much of freaking Neptune from Ruby. Um, oh, man. that does has like, the same the same kind of thing. Where it's like, why? <laughs> it's like <laughs> you're water based. <laughs> you said totally like like water a lot. Um, but anyways, yeah. yeah so they they even summon water. Anyways, um, but yeah. So they're they're a pretty cool transformation. Um, they're a lot stronger when they're in a human form, uh, which I guess it, which I guess is a good kind of side effect. You know, uh, not immune or. Uh, Weakness to water when in like this kind of ultimate form kind of thing, um, it does make a little bit of sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, um, but after that, uh, we get uh, Aquarius summoned, of course. Um, 
and she is <laughs> very always unhappy. angry. But yeah, always angry. Very unhappy at the moment. Uh, I guess her and Scorpio are having a thing. Um, even if, if, even when she summoned Scorpion, um, he kind of had like had that, that moment where he's like, "Well, I'm gonna be over here, I guess," you know, kind of thing. Like he wasn't like really <laughs> into anything. Um, yeah. that, which I, I I saw like immediately, and then when Aquarius popped up, I knew something was wrong, <laughs> like with them. Uh, but yeah, uh, the terrain guy, um, the fish guy, he su- he turns the water boiling, and Aquarius is like, totally fine with it. <laughs> like it's not a big deal. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then, um, <clears throat> we cut to a bit with Cosmos and singing, oh, go ahead. We've been no, talking? nothing. Okay. Um, we had a moment with Cosmos singing, t- singing like a weirdo to, uh, Wendy, uh, who then wakes up and then, like, pushes it, pushes off that, like, uh, sleeping gas like nothing. Well, I think she does a, she does a spell, right? Like, to, like, make it so she's not, she's she- to it. Yeah, she heals herself pretty much. Yeah, so it was it was a cool moment for her. Um and then uh we get we cut to Mira getting all mad and then goes all out with the uh confetti girl. Um that was a really yeah. really cool fight. Uh even if it was it was very one sided, it was very very cool cuz like like we said, like all the different kind of abilities and stuff that the confetti girl threw out, like Mira just kind of like pushed it through like nothing. Um, the light, well, the lightning and the fire and all that stuff. She just kind of took it, and then when she was in her demon form, she sucked up the gas that um, the the poison gas that she summoned. She ripped through the mind palace thing that she summoned. Um, even the demon, or the anti demon or holy shell she put over her um, for you know to, to defeat evil kind of thing like that. I, I think that's what it was called. Um, Mirror just kind of ripped through it like nothing, um, and then yeah, just totally just dominated uh, the girl. And then uh, we had a cool moment with uh, we lost question. Uh, we had a cool moment with Lily uh, with like a flashback to Gajil and him training, um, and Gajil kind of teaching Lily a lesson and that kind of thing. Uh, it was really, really cool to see that. And then all of them together, all the groups, all the separate groups, synchronizing their attacks at one time <laughs> to rip through the wall and smash into each other at one point. That was really funny to see. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of uh, the Arashian Seis arc when they all synchronize to destroy the six <laughs> lacrimos. Yeah. yeah. I think, oh yeah, I just forgot about that. Yeah, it was synchronized. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's and they and they all like rip through the wall at the same time and hit each other and all landed in the same spot. Uh, the whole uh, wolf gang or uh, wolf knights, uh, they all landed at, the, at yeah. the same point, like in like a star formation. You know, <laughs> it's really funny to see that. Um, and then we cut to uh, the, the last episode, which had a lot to talk about. Um, there we go. So Mavis um, showing her plan is still working. You know, like uh, got to see. Um, you know, like, Juvia is gonna meet somebody here, and then all of a sudden, you know, Shelia pops up and, like, starts attacking her and that kind of thing. So it, her plan is still working. Um, and then it immediately goes wrong when, um, Kagura shows up against Urza, <clears throat> who was, like, an anomaly. Um, yeah. and it was, like, a, fully against Mavis' plan. Um, so that was interesting to see that something like that happened. Because I, I, I said it in my reaction, too, but. It's understandable because Kagura, or Mavis wouldn't know that Kagura knows Jalal, um, unless yeah. unless you know she talked to her or whatever. But yeah, so like Kagura knowing that Jalal is part of Fairy Tale, Kagura wanted wanted to attack um, Urza for it. Um, yeah. So that was like a big anomaly for Mavis, um, and it made her cry and everything like that. It was very <laughs> very funny. Um, but yeah, then we and then had the greatest fight starts. Yeah, and we had the the really very epic fight with Urza versus Kagura versus uh, Minerva, a one v one v one fight, uh, pretty much, and it was epic all the way through. And then Minerva detonates the heavens, pretty much, with a massive attack. Um, I can't remember what you guys were saying beforehand when I mentioned that before, but uh, what, what was it again? It was like they uh, Minerva. It was the eight. Again. Wait, what are you asking? Battle gods. It's the 18 battle gods of Yakuma. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. We got, we got to see, like, you know, the god or whatever um, that she summoned. Uh, which is interesting it's that she it's summoned apparently... Oh, I was gonna say that it's apparently, like, a really old or, like, ancient spell because... Mavis uh, talked Mavis... about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. And, like, Mavis was surprised that she mastered it, too. Um, yeah. So she must have saw it or something like that or read about it or... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> she just... <laughs> she knows about it from her past. Probably yeah. from fighting other guilds or something like that. Remember, she was a the tactician. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so uh, we had the epic fight, detonation, and then uh, we find out that Minerva is, like, holding Miliana as hostage um like to do something with we haven't actually figured out why or i guess yeah. we sort of know why because she she wants to win of course um so it's going to be interesting to see what comes of that um like if she's gonna and i don't know We're, I, i'm not sure i'm not sure what is going to happen there with minerva um anyways yeah yeah so then we have the uh mystery and woman the, the grand reveal Grand reveal, uh, with with uh, the mystery women becoming Lucy, future Lucy, um, which is very interesting. Uh, like I said with you guys a little bit a little while ago, um, it kind of I'm still kind of thinking of theories of how she got there and why she's there and everything. Well, I know why she's there. She wants to change the the, the future. Um, yeah. But it seems like she told the kingdom, the princess, about the future, and the princess is preparing to change the future with the Eclipse Gate. Um, so, yeah, it seems seems like it, um, and they're like all preparing for it, and they're waiting for the end, which uh, future Lucy said to the princess that um, an unexpected outcome uh, will win the tournament or something like that, something something along along those lines. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what what she what the term uh, the the sentence was. Whatever. It's not sh- uh, it's an, an, ex, an unexpected outcome, and of a guild, certain guild winning the Grand Magic Games is going to be unexpected. Yeah. And then it's going to say, uh, and then they can believe her. Yeah. So they're waiting on that that kind of premonition or whatever we they want to say um, to find out if the future Lucy is who she says she has, says she is, which. We know as viewers that she she is the legit future Lucy, uh, so mm. it's uh, it's gonna be really. Just, uh, I'm interested to find out how she got back, um, like went back in time. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really, really interesting to find out. Um, and then yep. I wanted to touch on my um, my Jade Dragon theory um, because I th- I think it was a cool theory. Um, <laughs> um, so. <laughs> We had small hints here and there um, of all these jade things happening. So, like, the colonel had a jade pendant on his on his neck um, that protected him. It was, like, a protection kind of pendant um, from the princess. The princess gave it to him. The princess has, like, you know, kind of a jade kind of, per, like, um, characteristic to herself. Like, her outfit and everything's all jade-colored. Um, so Her name translates to jade as well yeah and and her name yeah yeah so my theory is and we maybe before we we also saw the jade dragon the spirit um in the uh in the crypts or you know whatever you want to call it the the caves underneath the the uh, uh the mine mine yeah. shaft whatever it's called um so yeah my theory is is that the princess um is a jade dragon slayer and wants to open the um, the eclipse gate to change the past to save the jade dragon from dying, um, because in that sense, then the that means the jade dragon and the jade dragon slayer are like you know family. Like the princess is like the daughter of the jade dragon, kind of thing like that. So like it's family, you know, like like like. If you had the chance of, like, you awesome. know, saving your dad, you know, like, if he, you know, passed away, that kind of thing, or, like, uh, your your family member that you really wanted to, like, you know, come back, you know, you, so you change the past to save him kind of thing. Um, well, you know. in, 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 the, in this sense, with your theory, in this sense, wouldn't the dragon, uh, the J-Dragon just be, 
just be her, like her teacher instead because she is like the princess of the kingdom, yeah. so her dad's the king. Yeah, it. it I don't know. <laughs> It'd be more yeah, like yeah. a teacher. <laughs> it, 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 that would make that, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. definitely uh, kind of a teacher role. Um, but yeah, it's that's kind of like my theory, and um, because we know that she's the leader behind the Eclipse Project, she's the true leader. The, we thought the Colonel was, but she, the Princess, is the true leader behind it. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to find out all about the Eclipse Gate and what it actually does. Because at this point, we don't know. <laughs> so many things changed. And, like, <laughs> like all these stuff characters start, start mentioning, like, it's so random. To see, I don't know what's going to happen now. <laughs> Eclipse 1, and then there's Eclipse 2. Yeah. I have so no I'm idea back. what's going to happen. Welcome back. Um, PC restarted. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so... I, I really I really like that theory and I I sort of I sort of know at, at this point that it's wrong, um, but you know it's a cool theory. Um, it is a cool. Th some some parts actually. might, might I don't be, think I've ever maybe thought of right. Um, but yeah. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, anything you guys want to add? To anything yeah. that we want. Uh, during the Urza, Kagura, and Mira, uh, uh, Minerva fight, yeah, it was very fast-paced, but, like, you could see, like, how do I explain it? Everyone was pretty much attacking each other. Like, there was no favorites they were yeah. going after. But, and it, like, it made the fight, like, seem more crazy. Yeah. Just chaos. The camera angles it, it, that it, was, like, really awesome. It, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, that kind of like kinda, continuous it, shot. It shows. It shows. It shows this when um, when uh, I think Urza, no, no, Minerva knocks back Kagura, and then she says, uh, "I've won" or something, and she's about to attack Urza, but then Kagura comes out of nowhere and kicks her. Yeah. In the ribs, and then uh, Urza comes in and kicks Kagura <laughs> in the face, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. It was just like a free for all brawl. Yeah. I really Minerva's entrance was like so badass. Like yeah. you just see like the circle in, in between Kagura and Urza, and then her hands just like stick out and like <laughs> grab their faces and like throws them. Like so cool. surprise, that surprise, was, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, that was really really cool. Yeah, the whole fight so far is really, really epic. I can't wait to see the conclusion of it. Like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Who's gonna win? Like, I don't know. Also, I I mentioned that in my reaction too. We still don't know in fa in Team Fairy Tale um, who the leader is. Um, I suspected Urza. At the same time, Loxus could definitely be the leader as well. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. it, it'll be interesting to find out who who is the leader of um, Fairy Tale. I wonder if they're they're purposely keeping it from us um, as like a kind of like you know. Uh, like, find out that Tension Gray, color. like, find out that at the very end, like, Gray was the leader the entire time or something like that, like, yeah. Watch it be Jubia. Yeah, <laughs> Jubia. <like> the <laughs> <laughs> then that, then that, then that epic moment on the screen where words flash and say, epic plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see the, the whole fight and, uh, who wins ultimately, pretty much. I hope we get to the very, uh, we get to see the conclusion pretty soon. Um... Because it seems like this, this, well, this is definitely like one of the major last things of this arc. So, um, it's definitely seeing, or going to be like a couple episodes long, I, longer, I think, in terms of uh, things like that. Because Nazi's team is pretty much done with the crypts, um, or the gel or whatever. Um, so it, I, I assume that the episodes now are going to be focused on the games, um. And maybe hopefully go back to see the to future Lucy and and maybe hear what she has to say. Um, so um, yeah, I fell out of the call around before you started talking about the Lucy part. Did we go over the fact that the fairy tale anime continues to troll people by that we see the exact same scene at the beginning of that episode as we do the end, only the ending extends it and shows yeah. us who it is. But the very beginning, <laughs> we just get to see we just get to see Natsu be like. Wait a minute, and then Cobra's like, "Who the hell who is are it? you?" It's like the, the, the Cobra, Cobra's like, "Who is it?" It's like, 
the world may never know. And I saw the lollipop commercial on the TV television that says how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. The world may never know. Yeah. And then this died at that part because it was so perfectly placed. <laughs> um, this this episode, we also saw uh, Sting. He's still just yeah. taking a break. Yeah, Rogue's like, <laughs> like walking around and everything, but yeah, Sting's at the same point. He's like just sitting in the same spot that he was. <laughs> so well, I mean, Sting is uh, he's moody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he did. To be he fair, did like book it away from uh, uh, uh Kagura, right? Ka- n- no. Like he ran yeah, away. Yeah, oh, Kagura, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He did, yeah, yeah. And he did, we can't really say he booked it or ran away because we didn't actually see what he did. For all we know, <laughs> maybe he has some special like freaking. Light beam, a teleport, dragonfly power, or something. Because we see him come out of nowhere and hit um the two guys, like or the guy, like it was nothing. So we're putting it on the thing for him to jump back up, just like he came down. I like, mean, yeah. he, he comes also, down like a yeah, bullet box speed. We, we still have a lot of cool team ups to look forward to because there's still Olga and Jura and Loxus and like you know all these like very 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 powerful people coming up soon, and I really yeah. hope we get to see all those fights like. Uh, fully, and not like left or like um, pushed around or like you know whatever quickly quickly went through. I hope we get to see the full fights um, and like their full power like unleashed kind of thing. Like Jira is going to be insane to fight. Like, if all those matchups, if all those matchups are given the same like detail that this uh, three way fight that we just had, yeah, like it, yeah, all these fights are going to be amazing. They are. They're going to be incredible. Yeah, so uh, if um, you guys have anything else to add? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, one like equals one Justin, Wendy, and Ty. <laughs> what? Yo, not, not. Jesus. For one, we already, we, already, we already shifted to it's actually Wendy X Cosmos now because yeah. Cosmos is free. Here. Way too <laughs> much. You're free. Right back. What were we going to say before that, Justin? Um, what I was going to say before all this, uh, <laughs> Um, what was it? I mean, see, this is why I don't like it when Wendy X Justin fanfic shit comes up because I forget what I was going to say. Uh, what was I saying? No, never mind. I guess I'll have to wait till some other time where it makes no sense. You said. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining. I remember. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I was just going to say, in the first three out of the six episodes, um, when, you, um, when we were talking, I forgot to mention that I still love how whenever Rogue talks about anything, about what, how he's going to survive till the end of the games, yeah. until he fights Gajiel, I love how everything he says just is an obsession with Gajiel. It kind of reminds <laughs> me of a more tame and more reasonable fighting obsession rather than a Wendy like that Cosmos had an obsession with. Only that went way too far. That was like borderline <laughs> creepy as hell. Yeah, uh, that was creepy. That wasn't borderline. That was definitely 100% creepy. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so I wonder if the show's just throwing down our face that these fights are all gonna happen. All these ones that they hint at remotely, yeah. they make sure they, I believe they insult our intelligence with Rogue's constant like obsession with Gaji. I mean, you might as well just tell us that Rogue's also, gonna fight Gaji. Or also, Olga and um, Loxus, like they they like yeah, when they, they stare when, each other when, down like they're animals. When when they both yeah. realize that they both lose use lightning, that 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 was like an yeah. internal kind of thing with them. And they, like, they really want to fight each other. Um. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. So uh, thank yeah. you guys so much for joining us. Um, next episode uh, is one eighty five, one eighty six, and one eighty seven, I believe. Um, wait, five six, yeah, five six seven. Um. So yeah, tune in uh, Wednesday for that. Hopefully we can do the discussion on Wednesday. If not, then we'll probably do it on Friday. Um, or the weekend um, after Friday. <laughs> One of those. I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy that we're moving that we're moving away from the the wolf knights because yeah. I really didn't care for them too much. Yeah, I didn't really care for them either too much either. I mean like, like I said, the yeah. magic was cool and different and like unique and everything, but at the same time, they're all they're all creepy. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they, legitly, they all are creepy. Like they, 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 they all, they all are stuck in a jail, forced to like, you know, be like they're just the, waiting. Yeah, the, they're just waiting for people to come down there. Yeah, basically. so like they're I, 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 constantly like being creepy. You know what? You know what I just realized, and it's kind of it's kind of funny when you said they're all creepy. I just thought of something. Um, 
we oh, have the, we have the guy with the um the, the fish guy who's constantly getting those dramatic zoom ins from the say one line. Yeah. <laughs> we have yeah. we have um Cosmos who's just obsessed with dying like I'm guessing little beautiful girls that are dying, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's then we have happened. the one with the confetti who likes who who gets off to giving pain to um pr- uh, criminals as she said. Yeah. Um and I don't I, we didn't really get much about the ass guy except for that he likes to melt things with acid. Um he likes a challenge and, I think is his thing. And then then the scythe guy. Well, I'm guessing he maybe maybe he likes cutting people's heads off. I don't he know. We don't really get much deliver- of He likes delivering punishment. <laughs> 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 uh, he likes he likes the he likes combat pretty much like he likes to fighting people and attacking them. So yeah. See now we we got we got we got they have they have one on their team for all all every every type of person. <laughs> you want combat? Go fight the scythe guy. You want someone who's into dead who's into dying people? Go fight Cosmos. <laughs> you want someone who likes you know torturing and giving judgment and all that? Go fight the confetti chick. Do I want to be disintegrated by acid? You know. Fight that guy. Yeah, so uh, now that we're past that, like I said, so, hopefully, uh, hopefully the episodes now are all focused on the games. Um, what are you yes. saying, Nachi? Can I, can I say something real quick? Um, so, uh, for me, for this arc, for me, uh, every episode you pass by, or three episodes or four episodes, whatever, uh, yeah. how many you're doing, um, it just means you're getting closer to the movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm I'm so waiting for that. I've been waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, uh, I don't actually know. I gotta talk with Dark Wolf actually to see um, or you guys even know where the where the where is the dub at right now? The dub oh, is currently. Okay. Uh, oh, don't, 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 don't say the name of the arcs or anything. Just, just say, like the numbers. It's, see if you can it's, it, it's like I think it's in the two hundred twenties. 230s around there. I think. Uh, well, they're, they're getting. Right. They're, they're um this on the 26th according to the check fun- real quick. Okay, okay, on the 26th according to the Funimation website, they're going to be starting the uh uh without saying anything number and even the number of when that arc starts. Uh, uh, give me a moment because I'm going to tell you right now because I just looked on the. I was curious when they were going to do more dubs, so I was looking at that up earlier. Well, isn't okay. it? It's June seventh that the next part comes out. Well, no, well, I, 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 yeah, I, I, no. I'd say they're around. Okay, so um, I'm I'm getting this from a YouTube channel. It says Fairy Tale 2014 episode 41. That's where that guy's at. Well, well no, we're, we're not. So, we're not he, he go, but that's not how Cobra doesn't like count them up like they he counts them up continuously from the last season. So, well, because episode I know, I know, eighty-one, but you can you can find it. You can find it. That's episode fine. eighty-four was. Episode okay, eight episode. Of, the twenty-sixth of this month, according to the Funimation website, they're going to start the dub for episode two twenty-seven and two twenty-eight. Oh. Okay. okay. Which, if you look on the wiki, you guys will know without me having to say what episodes those are. Yeah, I know. I know what episodes. <clears throat> okay. Greatness. <laughs> yeah, I, I am starting to get up there. I'm starting, <laughs> starting to get to that point. So, uh, but the, uh, the good thing is is that you have the movie in Fairytale Zero if you want to kind of... Yeah, uh, Dustin, was, so Dustin, was, was, with, Dustin was saying wait until do Fairytale Zero until it's appropriate. So. No, I'd uh, say, okay, because... Uh, for Fairy Tale Zero, I'd say that, that you just watch the episodes, how they come out, and then when, because there's a pe- half, like a big piece of the first episode of Fairy Tale Zero is from like part of the other stuff. Yeah. From like no, the other arcs. No, wait, wait, just, just let's just not talk about this here. I'm going to tell you something right now, and I'll tell you guys later because I was telling him about that. Before we started the discussion, I was telling him something about that. So I, so I would recommend that like you just. Um, you just watch it how they came out because yeah, it makes more exactly. sense like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like so, basically, Fairy Tales there would be till after all the arcs that are currently out. When, when, um, yeah, watch it when appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. I still don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like uh, when the number comes up, uh, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, reason, the, the reason that doesn't make sense is because they don't classify fairy tale zero into the numbers of the of the actual fairy tale. They, they classify yeah. it as its own show. That's why I'm getting confused. Yeah, it's the same oh, okay. thing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but they, they, it came out as like the after, weekly. After, like, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Like immediately after. Arts are are currently that we that are currently out or finished. So. All right. Yeah. Like. So, uh, uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, we'll call it there, uh, and then, like I said, we'll probably do a discussion. Probably, hope maybe Friday. <laughs> um, if if not <laughs> if not Wednesday, then it'll be a Friday. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Natsu, and thank you, Tommy, for joining me. No problem. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Just-